I think like many people, perhaps I stumbled across the industry rather than going specifically to become part of it. I, I went and did an economics degree, ended up working uh, in MLC and found out very quickly that I knew not much about what financial services really does for the community and for society. And once I became more familiar with the products, the services, the ideas, the advice we give, I fell in love with it as an industry because it does such great things for so many people. So it became a natural fit for me and, uh, and I've been here ever since and enjoyed it thoroughly. It's been a really interesting process to be part of the panel and having discussions with, with yourself about you know, how can we really change some of the perceptions, knowing that we're fundamentally trying to do the right thing. You know, how, can we, um, how can we change the perceptions? And then it became more about, well, it's not about the perceptions of us, it's about how we actually need to act as a group. And how can we create some form of safety net, if you like, as an industry that means that in, in our intentions from the day we start in the industry, we have an ethical basis for how we make decisions and how we deal with, with our clients. I think that there's been a lot of different ideas you know, floated around about how we can you know, self-regulate or create some uh, change in the way people behave. But I personally think the oath is the right answer because all of this starts with the individual. And this is something every person can stand up and say, I believe this is a good basis for me to set up the way I want to do business in the future. I can make some commitments and to me, and I think most people, personal commitments are very serious. Um, and I can stand behind those commitments and be guided by those commitments. So I think it's a, a great place where we ended up and I think the oath will be a very successful way of giving people that grounding we talked about, having a culture of ethics in our, in our industry. So I think it's really important for us uh, to stand in the community and allow people to uh, take comfort in the fact that we are prepared to stand up, take an oath about how we're going to behave and conduct ourselves. It gives them some comfort and a basis for trust and I think it will be a wonderful opportunity for us all. The oath gives us a chance to say, well, we, we do expect people uh, who have taken the oath or um, who, who are looking at the oath to understand that it does have an obligation to act in a certain way. And that, I think, is a very healthy thing. But this isn't something that I want to mandate and say that well, you know, all our people you know, that work here in MLC, and we have 6,000 people in our organisation, or you, you all should uh, take this oath. That's not the way it works at all. This is about people power and personal accountability and people making decisions. So I want to introduce them to the oath. I want to talk them through the concept of what we're trying to achieve with the oath and then let people make their personal decisions. Uh, and I'm really hopeful that a very large number of them, of course, uh, do choose to make that personal commitment. Um, as an organisation, of course, we can make commitments, but it comes down to the people. <laughs>